head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode two of My Time at Porsche. Yeah, so when we last left off, we were finishing up the builder test. Um, I would say, unfortunately, that because we did not go to sleep, some of our progress didn't save. But we didn't get too far, but it did at least save the stone furnace, so that is good. The next thing we need to do is head out here and check our mail today and continue the, um, the story. So it wants me to place items can be picked up by swinging an axe. I guess it wants me to pick that up. So I'll hit that and just to see, you know. Oh, that's the craft button. Oh, I forgot how to swing for a second there. Wait a minute. Place items can be picked up by swinging an axe at it. I feel like I'm wasting. Oh, there we go. Finally picked up. I was like, what? Right, let's spin this back around. Just wanted to get that off the screen. Like that. Place that down and we're good to go. So let's go check out the mail today and let's continue the story. From City Hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently have two authorized Porsche currently have. Maybe she say Porsche currently has. Oh, anyway, two authorized ruins for you to dive into. An abandoned ruin, number one, below the Church of Light, and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all ruins are currently off limits. Thank you. Okay, I wonder how we're going to get to open that, but we'll find out at some point, right? But let's go check in here. It looks like we can turn in a quest because we built the stone furnace uh, here we go we knew where Presley was because of last time great job thank you this is your builder license congratulations now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered after which you can start taking regular commissions nice Come back and talk with me after you register. I will do that. All right, so it looks like we got our builder's license and I uh, could go this way. And we got some relationship points um, from that quest, so that's good. So let's head over to the mayor's office. Uh, is this the mayor's office? This looks like the mayor's office. Oh, government, yep. Mayor Gale. Let's talk. I don't think we talked to him. Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. I'm here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Oh, I get to name my workshop now? That is a pretty sweet. I'm not going to name it workshop. Let's name it Let's name it Wright's Palace. Oh, they won't even let me. Oh, I wanted to name it Wright's Palace. Alright. Uh, let's just call it... Let's just call it Wright's. Hopefully it says Wright's Workshop. There we go. Are you sure you want to name your workshop Wright's? Yeah, let's do that. Alright, workshop rights, build this license, build a Rolando, birthday unknown. Yeah, that's good. Nice name. There, your registration is complete. Thank cool. you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. <laughs> you don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. Okay. Uh, looks like he might have a quest for me. Meet and greet. Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I made a list of store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. All right, cool. So meet the store owner. So that is a mission. All right. 
I also have to show press leader registration, but before we do that, let's go ahead and meet some of these store owners real quick. Okay, so they are all on the map. A G A and G construction. Let's go in and see who owns this. Um, this place. Let's see. Gus, we've already talked to QQ. Oink. <laughs> glue glue. Alright, QQ. That's a cute little pig. Uh, we've already met Gus. Let's talk to Albert. He's probably the owner. Ah, welcome. If you're in need of house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Okay. So that's cool. Awesome. So it looks like we got that. Can you go upstairs? Let's just go check it out and see what's up here. Oh, so it's just his bed? Okay, cool. Nice. I really love the art style of this game. I really do. Let's go out and meet the other uh, owners of the shops. Right now we don't have any money, so we can't really do anything, but... At least we can meet everyone. Who is this? Sonia? Let's talk. You're that new person! You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Sonia. <laughs> the beverages here are all brewed by the brewmaster Django himself. Try them all. Maybe one day. The beverages here are. When I have some money, I will do that. All right, cool. Uh, who else? Who else? Who am I missing? Ooh, let's meet Russo. Are you new here? I'm Russo. Yes, I'm in a hurry to buy some food for Miss Ginger. Okay, so we at least met him. Uh, let's see. Lee. We have not met. Have we met Lee? And you are? Oh, you must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lee. Have you ever heard of the story about the dancing robot? This happened several years ago in Ethia. A robot was found in the ruins and brought into town. The robot only had one leg, so it was balancing with its four arms. That's why it was called the dancing robot. Anyway, then it shot rays out of its eyes and hurt a lot of people. Sad story. Yeah, that's probably not such a good story. Alright, cool. Um, it says that... Let's go inside. Because it said that I still haven't met one of the store owners and it keeps that little icon on. Okay, so Django. Ooh, what the... Ooh, I want that, but I don't have any money. Oh, a new building! Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. Oh, nice. What do you give us? Juice. Love it. Hi, Emily. Hey there. I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. Drop by my ranch sometime. I will. I love Granny's farm. It's so full of life. I can spend a whole day tending the crops and playing with the animals. I know we I know we knew it's the town, but Emily looks like good wifey material right off the bat. Wait, what's this? Badge exchange? What's that do? Wait. So you can buy food? Oh, that restores hit points. That's a buff. Okay, cool. So you can actually like some pretty cool RPG elements built into it. Busy form. An entry book on how to plant crops. Okay. Journey from the East, a traveler's tale, and Cooking Master. Looks like it contains additional recipes. I only got 20 gold right now, so. Whoa. Shoot balloons? Oh, so this is like a little carnival game. Okay, cool. Let's go out and meet the rest of these shop owners. So I like how they make it like a little quest so you can meet the owners and, um, it. It's kind of like a way to learn as you go. It actually puts it up on a little map too. So when I finally get some money, I know what I'm doing. Hi, Martha. Hi, you're probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha, nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. I wish my son would stop dreaming about a life of adventure. 
Why can't he just have a peaceful life here in Portia? I wonder who her son is. I wish my son would... Okay. Who is your son? Portia Times. Okay. Can we go in? Yes, we can. Oh, May. Look out. Almost hit me. I wasn't trying to. Hello, new builder. That is who you are, right? I'm May. I work at the newspaper. See you around. Hi, May. All right, let's head out. So you have to be right up on the um, the whatever the object is to interact with it, or it will not count. Who's this guy? Best brother. Ah, oh, so it's like just like some furniture. All right, it's more like cosmetic. It looks like. Let's see if we can go in and talk to him. Oh, so it's just his house. Okay. Let's head back out. I was hoping that we could at least go around the counter and talk to him because he's still on the screen. Jade Closet. Can we go in? Doesn't appear so. So how do we... How do we get back there? Because it's still on the map. I'm not sure. Oh! Pfft. He just walked right through the door. <laughs> Whoopsie. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you ever have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. I do. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. Oh, another gift. Hardwood. Oh, yes. Thank you, Polly. Nice. So there is, like, really incentive to meet with the the um, store owners nice to have you if you need tools or weapons you can come to my shop it's got the best selection around these parts now you look like a nice kid so I'm gonna give you these for free as a leg up don't tell my wife though I won't what you give me stone bricks nice hi Carol talk to you welcome to our little town hope you have a wonderful time my store sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Oh, you can go on dates. That probably gives you more relationship uh, points. You look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Don't tell my husband, though. <laughs> I won't tell anybody. What did I get? Fiber cloth. Nice. So it looks like we, we met with all the, the store owners, so that's good. Well, no, we didn't. Because apparently, there's some that are off the screen. Okay, so that's what that little, those little fire, like symbols are off the screen. Those are other additional store owners. Got it. Or little quest icons anyway. So what time is it? It's 15:08, which is roughly what three o'clock. Let's see if we can meet with all the owners today. Oh, another chest. Nice, an apple. I didn't even see this chest. So I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be chests hidden around this whole place. Salad sauce. <gasps> Another chest? Like, wow. Bloodstone. I have no idea what that does. All right, I gotta, I gotta go check that out. What is, what is a bloodstone? What does it do? Shiny, rare material, high in hardness, good for making tools. Ooh. What does salad do? A buff. Got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right, we gotta go back up. Looks like this way. Hopefully we have enough time today to get to all these store owners. I really hope so. Statue of a flying pig. The flying pig's god symbol. The guild headquarters is located in Lucen. The guild is committed to exploration of the world, defenses of the weak, and spans everywhere. Okay. All right. What? What? Whatever it is is below me. It appears. Can we go into there? 
I don't want to go in there yet. I want to handle all this. There's a clinic. Cool. So. Anything come? Nope. So, what is it? So, look, maybe it's this building right here? I'm assuming it's this building. One thing I do like about this game, too, is the fact that there's, there are no invisible walls. Like, whatsoever. So, if you see something and you want to climb it, climb it. Dr. Zoo's house? How do we get inside that? I'm not sure how you're supposed to get inside of it. Because I'm trying to complete the meet and greet. Petra's home. Am I supposed to go in Dr. Zeus? Let's go in and see. No. Oh, Mona Lisa with a smiling face. I like that. That was a nice little touch. Oh, whoever it is is moving. Okay. Whoever that person is is on a move. I see. So let me try to catch him before it gets too late. Have we met with Ginger? Let's meet Ginger. People in Porsche are all very simple and friendly folks. I really enjoy... Alright, I don't want to miss this person, whoever this is, is on a run, because I need to meet with you. Oh, there we go. I don't know where they were. Oh, Dr. Zoo, you weren't in your house. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much the only doctor around here, so come see me when you need to heal up or buy health items. Here. Oh, oh thank you. You gave me herbs. Nice. And you also let me find another chest, sir. So, thank you. What? Oh, inventory is full, so I dropped the ring on the ground, so I got to drop something. So I can't have that. Um, what will we drop? Marble? You know what I'm going to drop? Nothing good comes from this. I'm going to drop the poo. I don't know how to drop it, though. Okay, so click on it. And then hit abandon. All four. Confirm. Alright, did that allow me to pick up the... Yeah. Copper wire. Yeah, I'm going to assume that's more valuable than poo. Yeah. Just a little bit more valuable than poo. It looks like we only have one more store owner. What is that glowy? <gasps> oh. Abandoned ruin. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yes. Yep. Alrighty. Let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a maintenance fee. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there. Just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Hmm. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in the... Alright, so I'm not going to head there just yet. Um... We have tons of other things we can do before that happens. So let's not let's not do that just yet. Oh, that has a scarecrow out there too. Let's go ahead and get our run on. Oh, here we go. Wait, I can pick up the chickens? What? That's not stealing? I don't know why I figured that'd be like stealing. Can I still go into the ranch, please? Oh, are you serious? Just missed it. All right, so look, we have a little bit of um, 
health and not health but SP left over so let's um, go ahead and use some of that up forget how to bring up the map how do you bring up the map well anyway I'm, I'm home anyway but let's go ahead and use up some of our XP and chop down some of this stuff uh, I, let's see if I, if I can build a chest actually first Am I able to craft a chest? Because I need to put some, sort some of this stuff away because I have way, way too much stuff right now. Have I learned how to build a chest yet? I need to learn how to build a chest. Why does that inventory thing keep blinking? Oh, I can put this up. That's what I can do. Let me put this away. Ah, uh, nice. Put it right next to our bed. Cool. And let's see if we can... Oh yeah, go chop down some wood so I can repair this so we can have a good night's nice rest. We have about, what, three more hours? And then we head, head to bed. There we go. You know, there's a couple of stutters, you know, here and there, but it is still in pre-release. So hopefully they, um, you know, start to get those ironed out. But the game does look pretty, though. Can I chop this tree down? I can. It looks like it's taking about two of my. My, uh, what's it called? My, I call it SP. Every time I swing that. Oh, and I leveled up. Nice, 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 nice. That's good, that's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to be wasting SP for no reason. I wish it kind of would have, like some games, you know, when you level up, it actually refills everything, like your health and your, uh, your stamina and all that stuff. I wish it would have done that, but, you know, no biggie. It's getting late anyway. It's almost it's almost midnight. But let's finish clearing this out. We wanna you don't wanna waste any of your you know stamina points, you know. There's no point in that. I bet I need to show Presley my registration though. And then I'll probably be able to, you know, learn how to craft more stuff. And I hope that this game doesn't just make you pass out when you run out of stamina. I know Stardew Valley does that. You just pass out and it'll cost you money. I don't have any money anyway. So it's after midnight. Let's get a couple more swings, see if we can take this down. Ah, right, we ran out of stamina. So we gotta head back home. But we did get a lot of wood. So we should be able to fix these wood wooden planks. Nice. Yes. Perfect. House is starting to look good. Yes. All the gaps have been fixed. We're finally going to have a good night's sleep. Yes, we are. All right, so go ahead and go to sleep. So because of that and we went to sleep that means that all of our uh, special points were uh, completely refilled our stamina points was completely refilled because we got a good nice rest but we need to sorry about that we need to go ahead and level up so how do we do that right here so in experience gain increased by 10 percent guys i have to do that I, I think leveling up is like the best thing to do here right like the more you level up, the more skills you get faster. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of the controls too. Um, all right, let's head out this way today, and then we're gonna go meet with. What's that? I get a quest too. Looks like there's a quest over here that I can partake in. Should I do it? All right, I'll talk to Emily. Hey neighbor, do you have a minute? I've been meaning to talk to you. Okay, sure. What's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. 
It's a box that you can use to cultivate crops. Ooh, people in the high wind have been using it for a while now and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. Nice. Yes, absolutely. I learned a craft recipe. Thank you. Here's the craft recipe and here are a few seeds to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from Granny's shop. Try growing uh, them to maturity and show me the harvest. Also, just a tip, but using fertilizer can help you increase the harvest. Let me give you some of that. Oh, she's a nice lady. Thank you. All right, let's go meet this person over here. This is one of the last few shop owners. Oh, Sophie. Let's talk to Sophie. Hello, nice to meet you. If you have any need for food items or seeds, you can come right on by here. Let me give you something as a welcome gift. Seems like everyone's giving you a welcome gift. That's awesome. Ah, oh, but it fell on the ground. Uh, man, I got 70 wood. That is nice. I gotta figure out how to build a um, a box. What does this do? Restores two HP. You get it from gathering, and you can sell it. You know, for right now, oh, I have so much of it. You know, so what I'm gonna do? A oh, right stick to abandon. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop it all. There we go. Cause I don't need that right now. I got so much of it. I had 16 of those uh, health things. So let's go back over here. Today it looks like we're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to finish up the mission because we talked to all the people. And then I can register my workshop and we can become a farmer. All right, so we're, we're, we're moving now. We're moving. I like it. Nice. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Mm -hmm. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. So there's a ranking system. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh, yes. Adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. Nice. But don't worry. If you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. That's the goal. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Okay, so we have options. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today. There are never too many commissions. Good day. That's Runt. He's the owner of the current's number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press. I got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, Young here is up for the challenge. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, Young here. Yeah, you figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Okay. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. All right, cool. So we got a contract. So apparently, as you level up, you will be able to grab them, right? So I'm thinking. Okay, so they're highlighted. You gotta look very carefully. Alright, what's this one? 
We need a temple. We at the temple need four wooden storages. I hope a builder will help us soon. May Mother Earth watch over you. All right. Oh, you only get three days to build that too. All right, so let's, I don't wanna press the wrong button. What's this one? Our town is urgent need of two water tanks. Please help fulfill this commission and submit these. All right, seven days. I don't wanna do anything that's too crazy off the bat. There we go, what's this one? I said I need two basic skivers. Please help fulfill this commission and submit these items to Antoine, thank you. Seven days. All right, dang, that's a lot of gold and stuff. So let's take this one. I think we can do wooden storages, except. All right, so we do get to take a commission, but right now we only can take one. All right, let's head out. Let's see if we can commit, uh, complete some of these commissions today. So it looks like the bridge is like the main quest. Yep, it looks like the bridge is the main quest, but um, the other stuff is like side quests. All right, let's see what we can build. Can we build storage? Because we need storage bad. There we go. Yeah, so we all we need is wood. Oh, so we can build. We can build three right now, looks like. Yeah. Let's build three. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, let's pick pick it up. All right, we put it in the inventory. What did I do with it? Did it fall on the ground? Oh, they did fall on the ground. Okay, cool. So let's drop, you know what? Let's drop the stone. You have to go into the inventory, it looks like. Let's drop the stone. Hopefully it stays where it is. Abandoning, right stick. All of them. And then I'm gonna pick up the box. Cause I need the storage. Where should we put storage? Uh, let's put storage right. Actually, we're not doing anything over here. That's gonna be too far. Sorry, sorry guys. I need to make a decision. <laughs> let's put the storage right here. That looks good. All right, cool. Let's open it. We need to put pretty much everything over there, right? There we go. Because we're not using any of this right now. I don't even know what most of it is for. Milk, juice. Uh, how do you sort? Left stick. There we go. That works better. Rubber fruit. We don't need. Uh, hardwood. We. I don't think we can do anything with just yet. And stone brick, we don't need. Herbs, we'll keep for now. Put that there. We're good. All right, cool. Something's telling me. Ah, I'm going to keep these for now. Because I'm going to go chop down some more trees. Can I chop down some more trees? Yeah. I'm going to build that. See, we could today we can get these other storage chests done. It takes like 20 for each chest and then we're going to complete that uh, commission get some money this game is very peaceful too i like that this is a game that you can just pick up you know when you just want to relax oh it, it actually saves your progress towards chopping down the uh tree or whatever that's pretty cool i like that i was not expecting that and this is one of the build that's already pretty, I mean, this one, again, is already pretty cool. Um, you can tell where there's some areas where they could polish it, but it's pretty much, you know, you know, a really good game for early access. I haven't came across any major bugs yet, so. Oh, and I leveled up that fast? Dang, that's that experience points right there. You know what? My, while you, before I do anything else, I should go ahead and grab this. There we go. Yes, I want it. Perfect. Yep, 
in games like this, I don't know what it is about uh, when you, in the first um, you know few hours of the game. It's just so much fun gathering resources. Like it doesn't really feel like a grind yet. I'm sure that's going to be a point when it starts to feel like a grind, but like like everything seems like very manageable at the beginning. And and it looks like all the the creatures so far anyway um, are passive in nature or at least neutral. Uh, so. I can walk by them and I can admire them and stuff like that and they're not trying to attack me initially so that's good I like that Cause I don't have any armor I don't even have a sword yet I need to work on that I'll cut down as many trees as I possibly can because I'm sure I can I need this wood and I can actually store it now and worst case scenario if I run out of space I can just freaking sell the wood it, and it can start the growing back process. So in the beginning, I'm definitely going to show you guys me gathering all these resources. But um, maybe, you know, after the first episode or two, I'll, uh, you know, what if I'm just doing some resource gathering? I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, fast forward through that part. But it looks like we only have 36, you know, points left right now in stamina. So let me just go ahead and see because I'm not, not sure if you need stamina points to build. All right, how does the chest? The chest is over here. Oh, I can build five now, but I think I only need two, right? Because I have two. There we go. Perfect. So I... Ah, uh, yes, Commerce Commission. So I can go turn that one in, but before I head out, I can also build a planter box, right? Let's see if we can build a planter box. You have to learn that recipe first? Let's see. Where's the handbook? Alright, how do you build a planner's box? Oh, then you can toggle how you, what shows up too. Okay, cool. That's cool. Got it. Um, workshop items. Planter box. Planter box. Small planter's box. Emily gave you a crafting recipe for a small planter box and some seeds. Learn and craft a small planter box and then the seed and then plant the seeds. Okay, she gave me a crafting recipe. Is it is it like in my inventory? She gave me the recipe? You know what? Let me go back. And check on something real quick. I was going to say, do I need to make it at the assembly station? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant to do. How do you take that back? Why? Confirm. All right, cool. We don't need to start making that. She gave me the recipe for a small... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I build a sword? Practice sword. So I can build a sword. Spikes from loot. I don't have any of that yet. Tricep animal bones? Well, so I need to practice sword first. So, hard wood from logging. Okay, I got three hardwood. So. Oh, so you gotta start from the bottom. Alright, so let's open this. Get my three hardwood. Because I'm gonna have a sword now. Alright, fast exchange. Cool. Now we have a sword, guys. Nice. I like it. We, we don't have any of the rest of that stuff, so. That's cool. Let me just go ahead and move this inventory around just a tad. I like to have my sword over here. There we go. All right, good. So now we can actually go attack some stuff. All right, not too much. All right, so we got to figure this out. So um, hold on, guys. I'm going to um, figure out how I make a planter's box, and then I will be right back. Okay, and we are back. So apparently you have to like, read a book or something. You're supposed to get it from Emily. 
So we gotta find out how. Oh. You got a mission for me? Hey there. I'm Chiwa, the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> Fishing rod. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? I sure oh, can. Thank you, thank you. So, fishing rod. A beginner's fishing rod. What do I need to make a fishing rod? I only need a wood, wild cocoon, copper bar. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go into the mines to get that. So we're probably not gonna do that, but a cocoon, I believe you get that from kicking trees. Right? I'm pretty sure you get that from kicking trees. Do they use any energy though? I'm getting a lot of this rubber fruit. I need a cocoon. What's this guy over here doing? Oh, that's Gust, right? Yeah. So you know what we're going to do? It's getting kind of late, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to finish up using the energy that I have left. Because, you know don't want to waste anything and um, I think and we are back ladies and gentlemen sorry about that we had the game crash so yeah that's some of the times that's the risk you take when you um, play an early access game but we did want to meet some new people all right do we meet Mars? All right, and then Phyllis, I'm pretty sure we definitely didn't meet. All right, cool. All right, Russo, Lee, and Nora. Do we meet Nora? No, we didn't. Nice to meet you, too. Hmm. Probably alluding to what we can grab. So, I saw a chest up there. There's two chests up there, actually. So, you guys know we're going to go grab those. I don't know how we're going to get the other one, but... So, I have good news. The crash was actually a benefit to us because if you look down at my heart bar, you can see we have a small planner bot recipe. So, when my inventory was full, guys, I could not get that because um, it fell down in the pasture. So, that crash was actually a blessing in disguise. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, we did it not smarter than us You're not smarter than us but yeah and I, and i'm getting better at the controls i know what i'm doing so we're getting faster look what time it is it's only noon and we got it so let's see if we can read this right or do we just click on it and use it how do you use let's go into the inventory let's go down to this recipe and it says right mount spots to use or press a so learn that crafting recipe and also, we should be able to make the practice sword now. Again, there we go. And we should, under furniture, make the small planter box. There we go. So we need a oh, wood board. So we have to build the civil cutter. We have to get soil from the abandoned ruins. And we have to get animal feces. Okay, so we have to do that. Um, I think we can do that today, but first let's 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 chop down some wood we have a lot of um those little 
point. Oh, where I got the wood from? Must have chopped down something and missed it. So, whoa, 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 wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. There we go. Can be wasting on any of our, you know, stamina points. So what we're gonna do is gonna chop down this wood. We're gonna make those four planter boxes, and if we have some, oh, we got sap from that too. Nice. Then if we have some energy left over, we're gonna go down into the mine to see if we can get some soil. So soil is in this game. Right, and there we go. That's that one that we found earlier. Remember that we were started to chop. So I think we're gonna need like 80 wood. We're pretty much there. I feel like we're moving a little faster too. I don't know for some reason it seems like we're moving faster. Look at that. We're, we upgraded again. We know we need to go into skill point. Add it. Two skill points. Because we forgot to add the last one because the game crashed. So it didn't save. That's that's a little unfortunate though. I wish I, That's one thing I will say they, they have to fix. That's kind of game breaking because... If we're recording and the game crashes and, and it's not nighttime, we didn't sleep, we lose that whole day's worth of progress, which is about 20 minutes of gameplay, actual in-game play. So definitely going to shoot that over to the developers. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints for the game. All right, that should be enough wood for now. So let's head back. I'm going to save some of those uh, stamina points to go down into the mines. Um... Wooden box times five, so we only need four. You know what? Let's go ahead and make five. Because we're going to set one down for ourselves over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. And we can head over to this guy over here. And turn in these four for our first commission. Talk to QQ. Hi, QQ. There we go. Get that relationship point. There you go. Lee. Turn in the commission. Thank you, and may Mother Earth watch over you. There we go. We got rep points. We got relationship points. Ooh, we got gold in storage. That is, that is a good haul. That is a good haul. Now, what we need to do is head over into this mine and see if we can grab soil, right? That's what we need is soil for the planter box. Is the planter box in here now since we learned the recipe? Let's see. Uh, but we need the civil cutter too. So we need copper for sure and stone, but we can, we can do all that. So we need that. So we need a lot of stuff, and we, we need to go into the mines. And it's a 60% off the first time you go in, so let's go. You want to spend 20 gold? Yes, we do. Pay 80 gold for a weekly pass. No. Oh, you can switch to another area. I didn't know that. Let's go in. I hope I did that right. I'm not sure. This is my first time into the mine, so you guys didn't miss that, but we do have a little bit of extra time to spend in the mine. Thanks to a game crash. All right, aim the reticle at the position you want to dig, then click attack to dig. Okay. Press the F key or R2 key to scan. All right. Okay. And then press and hold the space bar or O or B to use the jetpack. Okay. Hopefully the jetpack doesn't use any um, stamina. Okay. I forgot how to scan already.
There we go. Oh, there's one right here beside me. Oh, so you hold it on it? Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. And then it highlights it, and then I just go straight down. I think that's how it works. Just hold the attack button. Nice. Got sand. Okay. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it. Not very much. I do need copper though. There's not very much uh, stuff in here. That's like relics and stuff that's hiding out. Sand soil. That's what I needed. Mysterious disc. That's cool. Like it. Like it. Like it a lot. I wonder if that's soil right there. I'm going to go hit it just to find out. Copper ore. We definitely needed that. I want to use too much. I want to go. Definitely want to aim for the, the hidden objects. Oh, there's one right there. How do we get how do we get over there? I guess you gotta go through the wall first. Move up a little. Alright, what is that? Power stone, okay. Power stone um powers the bigger machines, I know that much. Is that all that's in here? It looks like that's it, pretty much. Oh, no, that's not it. Maybe there's like, you have to be in a certain proximity before it will show up. I right, only have 67 more power, or it's, uh, what's it called, skill points, I want to call it, before I run out. I got soil, nice, nice. We needed that soil. Trying to be as efficient as I possibly can with a stamina point right now. Do we get it? Old parts. Cool. I know you need old parts to upgrade your machines. So I want to make sure I keep that. Oh, I got it. That was cool. So, so I was so close to that one. So I just I didn't even have to swing to pick it up. So that was good. That's about 15 meters away. Is that might be a little too far, actually. Might be a little too far. But you know what? We gotta use the points to get down there, right? Let's do it. Let's do it up. Come on, we can get there. Power stone. All right, we can't use it yet, but that's fine. All right, let's see if we can, you know, oh, we're, we're really close to that one. How close are we to this one? Oh, this one is closer. So let's go for this one. Maybe we can get down there. Couple of wax. Got it. Another power stone. I mean, we're, we're, we're locked and loaded on power stones right now, so once we actually get the cutter device up, we'll be good to go. I want that one. I think we can get there. Oh, and we leveled up. Sweet. How, am I, how can I get in there? Like, how do I get in there? I want that. Got soil out of that. I only got a couple more wax before I can get it anymore. I'm uncovering whatever that is. Yeah, probably not going to be able to get that. So I want to use my last two wax to make sure I get some of this copper right here. And that is it. Not enough stamina. So I would say that was pretty efficient use of our time today. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's almost nighttime too. So, perfect. Let's 
Let's head back home. Oh, gang stutter right there. Now, every time I see a gang stutter, I get a little nervous. It's a question mark. Can I turn in a quest? Did I get something? Let's see. Okay. I'm not sure what the question mark means. But anyway, let's head home. Oh, mysterious data disk. So I talked to Lee about it because I found one. I didn't know that there was even a quest that I was after. Okay, but I'll keep it for now. So um, what do we need? Really fast. We needed to... I think we need to build some machines, right? Small planter box. We need it, uh, the wooden board. So, so we need to build. What's that thing called? Are we not able to build it yet? What's it called? Let me look in the. Oh, I leveled up. Forgot about that. Yep. Let's build let's spin that. The silver cutter. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Assembly. Assemble with an assembly station. All right. So let's go ahead and start this copper smelting because we need copper bars. Fuel depleted. All right. How do you uh, add more fuel? With X. Max I can put in there. All right. But. How many can I make? Three is the max I can make. Dang, that's going to take a while. So I need to build another one of those little furnace things. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to make these things. Do I have to build it here every time? Oh, you do. You do. Uh, so there we go. Yeah, stone stool. You know, wooden trap. Stone stool, wooden trap. It's the next day, but I'm gonna get this thing going. Stone stool. Got it. Just one. Okay. A wooden trough. How do I make a wooden trough? I, I have no idea. Am I, am I missing it? Like what, what? You know what guys? Since we are, you know, pretty far into it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep for tonight and then um we will we will pick this back up um in the next episode. How about that? Alright so let me just go ahead and go to sleep to make sure this thing saves. I don't wanna the game the crash and I know we've been going pretty far so let's just go ahead and go to sleep. By the way what what rank am I? Don't know. So let's go ahead and sleep. Should be a good night rest since we fixed up everything. Alright perfect. So I'm sure the game saved and we have full everything. So this is where we'll pick up pick up on when we come back in the next episode. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're enjoying this game. Watching this game as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.